At a museum in Tokyo, researchers have set up a workshop where they're looking to prove that robots can be imbued with life. Hello, Ashley. Eat your red pill and try to keep up. Professor Takashi Ikigami has helped create this thing, which looks like it comes straight from Ex Machina Central Casting. Through a series of sensors and artificial intelligence software, this android looks out into the world and reacts to what it sees. The android is in effect evolving based on what its AI software seems to like. Basically, there are two uh, different mechanisms. One is um, autonomous uh, rhythm generators. Okay. It's coupled with each other. Also, there is artificial neural networks spontaneously firing and sending signals to each other. As someone approaches the android, the sensors detect the movement. And then the software kicks in to determine how the robot will move in response. But for the moment, it has a movement style that could be described as that really drunk guy at the party. Okay, so in each one of these sensor boxes right here, yes. there's two cameras. Yeah. And this is measuring the measuring distance. Measuring the distance, yes. So when I come closer or further away from the machine. Then robot has to do something. It has to do, react to that. Yeah. You guys will add more and more sensors yeah, all the time. Yeah, we can put like a temperature sensors, sound sensors, many other sensors. Armed with more sensors, the robot can make more judgments about its environment and more nuanced reactions. Over time, the movements and gurgles change. The thinking is that the robot will eventually form its own personality and possibly even language. What's the deal with the noise? Is it hungry? <laughs> <laughs> this sound is designed by my student. And the behavior is modifying those sounds. The sound is changing all the time. It's more like, you know, a primitive language. That's, I think, the interesting part of it. Like uh, our babies, we don't have to tell everything to the baby, but baby can learn unconsciously by interacting with people, Just interacting with the, the environment, world. right? Once we have a bunch of life-like systems around us, maybe our concept of what is life will be very much different. And then if we want to coexist with robots, then we maybe have to learn different languages, different, different way of thinking. So that doesn't freak you out? You think that's a oh, that's, I think it's much more ideal to me compared with this, you know, very um, violent world right now. Well, thank you for letting me see your Android. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Oh, he said something. <laughs> I think he said he likes you. <laughs>